Alright, so today I actually want to make a face mask for my friend. So this is going to be for her wedding. So I thought I would just do a very, very quick and easy tutorial on how I actually do it. So I've got my pattern already prepared here. Now if you want to get this pattern, you can download it. Um, we'll put it. We'll put the link down in the description below and you can therefore download that and just make sure that the measurements are all correct okay so i am um sewing an adult medium all right so if you want to sew a child size you know you can go a half inch in you want to go for a larger adult size just go half inch up one inch up you know whatever that works for you okay so i've already drawn out the allowances and this is where i'm going to do my folds all right so I'm so excited to do this because look at my beaded applique. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. So I'm gonna hand sew this on later, but therefore gonna cut out um, the floral patterns and I might add some rhinestones, I don't know yet. Let's just see how it goes. And then I've also got my elastics already ready. Um, I probably would close this end and just take out this look because I think a lot, it will look a lot better. And I've got this off white really pretty ivory satin already so i've decided to pick this one over here and now um let us go and cut this out so before i go any further i just wanted to say that we are going to use a fusible lining in fusible interfacing okay if you're not sure what this is this basically stiffens the fabric so it holds a lot uh, holds the shape of the face mask a lot better so i am going to use this um, behind one layer of this and then we are going to create a filter pocket so later we will actually do this fold over here and then later we are able to slot the filters in as well okay so at any point of time if you feel like you're not sure about any parts you know just drop it down in the comments below any of the questions that you have and we'll definitely answer you and um if you have any queries definitely reach out to us as well no problem we're always here to support you okay so if you're ready let's go on to start sewing oh before we do that please remember to like and subscribe if you actually like this video all right on to it okay so what i'm doing now is i am putting the satin fabric uh wrong sides together oh no i should put it the other way okay let's do this right sides together don't mind all the glitter we have so much glittery fabrics here so we're putting the right sides together so we have two wrong sides here so just adjusting this and I'm just going to use my weights and cut this baby out. Okay, so I'm just following the pattern to just cut this out. Nothing fanciful here. Just cutting. Okay, now that I have this, I am going to put this aside and I'm going to create the pocket layer so I'm just going to fold this right at the dotted line that's already created and I'm going to cut. Now just doing the same for the interfacing. So I'm back to cutting the whole piece of the pattern. So I've unfolded it. So this will be ironed on, as you will see in a little while. Okay. So now that you have this, what you're going to do is you're going to take your other full pattern, okay? Not the folded one, the full one, the satin one that you've made. Okay, what you're going to do is you can see the interfacing. There is a shiny side 
and there is a matte side okay so this is called fusible interfacing where you can actually iron on so we're going to iron on the interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric okay wrong side of the satin fabric which is this way so we're going to do that over at the ironing board so this one goes here and then this one with the fusible side on here and we're just going to iron that on so I want to make sure that I really iron until the fusible interlining is really 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 um, kind of stuck and glued on onto it so that's what I'm trying to make sure of I'm using no steam with the iron, but anyway, any regular iron would do. Okay, any regular iron. This piece. Now you have these two pieces ironed on very nicely. So you're gonna take right sides together this way. You're gonna put right sides together, okay? And you're going to sew one straight line over here. You're going to do the same thing for the filter pocket. So one straight line here. And then we're going to fold this part in as well. So we're going to fold it two times just to stitch it in. Okay. You can go ahead to actually iron this down too if you want to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the one with the interfacing open that and I'm going to take this one this is for the filter pocket and I'm going to open this I'm going to match the top over here and I'm going to grab a pin and you're just going to pin that in so I'm making sure that the line lines up really nicely and then I'm just pinning this in don't mind the background noise, this is just class going on. <laughs> That's class going on. So I'm just going to pin all of this in. Just make sure that it's nice and flat. So we're going to sew a straight line at the end. And we're going to do the same for this side as well. So let's just go ahead to pin that in. gonna pin this as well and over to this side okay straight line Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim uh, as close as possible and then cut notches, especially for the curved part. Okay, notches. 
gorgeous. From here, flip it over. So this is what you're going to get. It actually has a really nice shape but um, before we move on we're going to go ahead to do some ironing after we top stitch. So I'm going to go ahead to cut notches. Just make sure not to cut the stitch line. You do the same for both. For this one, I'm going to trim first because it's very thick. Okay, and then I'm still going to do some notches. Moving back to finishing the last and final part of this, so what we're going to do for this edge over here to close it up nicely, you're going to fold once, you're going to fold twice, and you're going to line this up really nicely here, and you're just going to do a straight line top stitch down, so you're going to do the same for both sides, and this is also where you're going to loop the elastic later, okay, so again, just uh, okay, I'm just going to snip this off. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to go once. And I'm going to fold one more time. So it's going to sit inside here. Okay, then I'm just going to straight line top stitch that down. I am going to move my needle position okay, over to the left side and length I'm still remaining at 3 or yeah and then for tension I'm putting it at about 2 half I'm going to fold it near the pocket here, running the edge next to the side of the footer. I'm going to do the same to the other side. There's a lot of dust around, so I'm just using a lint remover, remover to just remove some of the fluff just to make it as clean as possible. It's so sticky. And this one I got from IKEA a long time ago, and ever since then, I've just been getting the refill.
folding once and then I'm just gonna fold in twice so I'm gonna have my uh, fold over here so this is for the filter pocket so again I'm just gonna put this under the foot so you're gonna do the same for both sides The other side, folding once, folding twice. You could steam this first if you want, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. So now that you have this, just gonna flip it. Push this up. Okay. No. So we're going to iron this to make this a very nice edge. So let's go over to the ironing board. See right now, I also don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm gonna cut what um, I think would look nice on the mask.
Okay, now that I've decided on the placement of the appliques, I'm just gonna go ahead to hand sew all of them down. Okay, so now that I'm done with hand stitching on all of uh, these beaded appliques, I am gonna go ahead to actually get our elastic. So this is actually the adjustable elastics um, that we just bought and it comes in a pair like that but um, I'm going to just remove these loops these are the adjustable little things but I'm not going to use that because these elastics in itself is actually really really stretchy already so I'm going to loop it in uh, using the looper here and then just going to either stitch or do a knot I don't know I haven't quite decided so for this I'm just uh, hooping it in and then it's just gonna pull through so I'm gonna do the same to the other side just kind of find the opening and then grab some of it making sure it closes you can actually hook it in but I don't really want the hole so yeah okay so now that we have both sides like that okay you can go ahead to tie a knot but uh, you know I'm just gonna stitch this two sides in so it looks it looks um, nice and sturdy so these two sides are going to be stitched in and we'll be almost done okay i'm done with uh, stitching a straight line okay the reason why i want to do a straight line is because i want uh, this area to be as flat as possible i didn't want to see like a bulge so that's why i did a straight line now if you're new to sewing i wouldn't recommend doing this you know you could either hand stitch um or just tie a knot but anyway i went ahead with the machine you can try that if you want but just be careful because it's just a very very small area so anyway i'm just kind of looping it in so i hide the stitch area so i'm going to do that for both sides see this area i want to hide it inside so I'm just gonna make sure it pulls through and so we have our completed bridal applique beaded face mask i'm loving the shape I think there's a lot of structure to it which I really like. I can't wait for my girlfriend Yawen to try her wedding mask. Yeah. Making your mask. No, because this is for you. <laughs> I hope you like it. You haven't even opened yet. What if you don't like it? <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure you like it a lot. <laughs> I'm going to draw all this on your face. Wow, so nice! Thank you! Oh my god, I'm going to pee pee it. Yay! It's so cute, you still got the sticker. Right, right. Mm. Why don't you sell masks? No! That's what you did, right? Uh, the the mask transformation mask. mask la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to sell this. This is for you, it's special. Wow. It's so Special. Oh, it's so nice. You want to try it over your current mask? Is it loose? Should I make? You know why? I don't want to make it too tight. You know why? Because I scared your makeup. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Is it too loose? Do you want me to tighten the elastic? I can. I can put the loop. Do you want me to put the loop thing? Next, I just tie a knot. No, no, no. I can put the loop thing. Oh. If you feel like it's too loose, but I didn't want it too tight because I scared like. The mask, the makeup. The makeup, yeah. Ah, it's so pretty! Yay! Yay! Ooh. Yay! I hope you like it. Yeah, <laughs> What? Video. Yes, video. 
I'm getting married. Yeah, you're getting married. Yay. Actually, I just want to skip. No. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed this whole tutorial on how to sew your very own bridal face mask and uh, if you're sewing this for a friend, if you're sewing this for yourself for your wedding, I just want to say congratulations and I'm so happy and excited that you are going on to your next journey in life. So if you found this video useful, do like and subscribe down below so you get more video tutorials on how to do things like that and all other things as well. So we do have our online sewing school, so go ahead to check out our different courses available. And if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below or PM us or DM us anywhere, and I'll definitely reply you. Thank you so much, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!